I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Electric versus gas, what do you like better? Do you like them both? I like them. What's up guys? Welcome to the Pottery Studio. I'm John the Potter. Today we have a bunch of pots to unload. So we're gonna unload all the pots from this kiln, which part of them we've done already, but we're gonna unload the rest of them. And then we're also gonna unload the gas kiln. So electric firing versus gas firing, I wanna know what are your guys' impressions? What do you think? Do you see the difference between electric? Do you see the difference in gas? Reduction, not reduction? We'll talk about that. Uh, so it's gonna be fun. Check out the Etsy shop if you want any pots. We just did a restock in March, so there should be some pots up there as well as t-shirts, unless they sold out quick, but we're a little off-centered. T-shirts are for sale now as well. All right, so this kiln load was a fun one. I was getting some bright colors. So this is what we took out of the kiln already. Some Insanity mugs. Those Insanity mugs turned out sweet. A couple marbled, turned out really nice. And then this is a new combo, kind of a black and white, like kind of a, I don't know, Dalmatian spots. This was a new tester, Norse blue over red. Uh, this is a, that one turned out awesome. Big vase. And then a red, red pitcher. So. That's what came out. Let's unload the rest of it, huh? So this combo, Desert Sunset, has been an interesting one just because typically it comes out with a few pinholes right across there, although this has like almost no pinholes, which is great news. And same with that one, just a little tiny pinhole there. But one of my favorite new combos that was discovered last year, discovered. Same, same combo there. This one I will refire because it does have quite a few pinholes. This combination is one that I'm really excited about. Copper float and alabaster. Depending on where it is in the kiln, it can do crazy things. Here's a good one. Ooh, nice. Got some good crystal, micro crystal growth in that one. Super cool. Finally, I have some more of these. This is a combo I did a bunch last year. Haven't had much for sale. Uh, so far this year, but that turned out really nice. Love it. All right, another combo that has been very popular over the years, but I haven't done that much recently is this pink and blue. Nice. This is gonna be a big, a big March collection. Very cool. That is just really stunning, I think. And these are travel mugs. So, roar green over red, and then the silicone lid fits right on top and it's got the handle nice fits really nice Woo, that is a cool one another one of those travel mugs Ooh, that is nice kind of nice how it's like blue on one side and like love it that's really a nice mug good i haven't done that glaze in a while and after you haven't done a glaze in a while so this one i it's kind of a double dip of aurora green on this so that's you get a little more color a little more glaze flowing and then those last three. All right, the moment of truth on the bottom shelf. Last one. So these are the Desert Sunset that have been refired, which those just look awesome. Such a cool glaze. Glazes are at a perfect consistency right now. Copper float and alabaster. There's an oil copper Desert Sunset oil dispenser. So this one, is a roar green over red, but on the bottom. And this one is a roar green over red, not on the bottom. And I prefer this more blue color versus kind of just meh. So there are certain glazes that I like better on the bottom, and there's certain glazes that are better not on the bottom. So it's interesting. Oh, we did have a couple drips. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I thought, dang, it's close. You can see how close that is dripping off right there, but it doesn't. All right, there you go. There is the first electric kiln. And I'll show you the gas kiln right now because we are just about at cone 10. So we're just about to shut this down. It's firing, it's been firing. I started it last night. We are just a little bit of reduction. We kind of toned the reduction down. We're at 21, 62, almost 11 is going down on the bottom. And then on the top, hopefully cone nine will get down here pretty soon. So we are a little off from top to bottom, but it should be good. All right, we'll see you tomorrow to unload this thing. Okay, so now it's the next day and we fired this all day yesterday. Now it's done and we get to unload it. So at the first look, 
I am very excited about some of these pieces. Uh, this is that copper float over Himalayan salt from Mako. Turns out really nice. Uh, and then probably the, the one that I have most in this kiln is this carbon trap Chino. And whoo! And I think I want to call it like ice crackle because it to me it just looks like frozen ice like from Minnesota when it's on the ground. It looks like a piece of frozen ice to me. So very crackly, very Florian Gadsby vibes. Love it! It's going to be a quick turnaround, but all this stuff is going up on sale for March 3rd in our March collection. So it's going to be fun. Some stuff works and some stuff doesn't. This is kind of interesting. This got really bubbly, just white. So I'll probably refire this in the electric kiln and see if I can smooth it out a little bit. That's cool. A little black and white action. A little gray in the middle. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Look at that color of that clay. Holy cow, that is... Got some drippiness, but nothing a little grinding won't fix. There are a lot of pieces in this kiln. It was very full. Look at that. So I'm just going to kind of rapid unload oil bottle. Nice. This is Sand Dollar over Riptide from Mako. Got a couple of those. That was kind of a last second addition, some carved. Love how that carved, the clay comes through. In the reduction atmosphere, it just is, does very cool things to the clay body. Here's that carbon trap Chino. Got a little crazing going on. Color of that clay is just nuts. It's just crazy. Woo, this is sweet too. Carved, satin patina, love that. Oh, that is very, very cool. I mean, that's probably one of the coolest things about the Cone 10 gas is the clay, the color of the clay. We got definitely the cone nine, uh, and probably nine and a half on top, more like 10 and a half on the bottom, still trying to even it out. I really fired this pretty slow, uh, so I'm kind of surprised that we weren't really evenly fired, but whoo, look at that. This is Pete's Cranberry. Look at that red. That turned out super nice. I saw one on the bottom too that's Pete's Cranberry with yellow salt, with a yellow salt glaze. That's this, and that looks really nice too. So what a nice, that's like a really good cone 10 reduction red. And that yellow salt is looking nice. Sweet. It's an ex this is an exciting one. Here's that desert sunset combo in the gas, which is looking pretty nice. A little different than the electric kiln. Same with that one, a little spoon rest. Got some carbon trapping in there. Those are really nice. Super, super nice carved mugs. Love it. So some of that carbon trap Chino, oh, that's really nice. Carbon trap Chino, kind of a smaller mug, kind of a one handle, one finger handle. Nice, look how dark that clay body is. These are Kai's mugs. That must be the yellow salt, carbon trap. Pete's Cranberry. Kai's not here right now, so this video can also act as a little bit of a see where everything was in the kiln. Oh, shout out to the Advancer Kiln Shelves. They are the best. Oh, look at that. So that's one layer of Carbon Trap Chino, which actually I don't, I don't hate that. And then here is two layers. That just, wow, look at that. I mean, you guys. You guys, you guys, it's so good. I like it with the two layers for sure. Uh, more carbon trapping, more carbon trapping. So there's just one layer. There's two layers. Wow. Really cool. Look at that. I really went all in on the carbon trap sheet. <laughs> or carbon trap celadon, sorry. Really, really cool. Look at that. It's kind of hard to relay why it's this is such an interesting glaze very very cool little travel mug silicone lid should fit right on top of that it's a lot of pots a lot of pots the ash i cannot get the ash this is a chino the ash on there not a huge fan of that it's all right i guess but see i don't love everything I'm running out of room i don't i don't hate the bubbling on one side it's kind of cool Smooth on one side. Nice, that's a really nice mug. Kai's, it's really nice. It's a really nice glaze, I'm liking it. Turned out, mostly. Uh, Pete's Cranberry, that red, turned out pretty nice everywhere. It's a good one. Yellow salt, 
Look at this. Carbon trapping. And then, like, look at that color in there. That just, don't know why that happened, but cool. This is an exciting, exciting firing. Wow. I really, it's just such a different look for me and I really love it. I don't think I'll ever just like settle on one. Everybody always says you gotta find your voice, find your whatever, you know? I say do whatever you want. Super cool. Look how dark that clay is. I know I probably said that like five times in this video. So that these are two just one layer of carbon trap chino. So the two layers, or no, this one must be one layer. This one must be two layers. It's nice we ran the electric kiln last night too, so it's nice and warm in the studio. I can't wait to go back in there. Nice, chip and dip. That's cool. It's got a little dripping, but nothing a little sanding can't, can't solve. Oh, nice. That's a really cool pour over. That is sweet. Love that. Pour overs and planters are so nice to glaze because they have like a, they basically have a glaze drip catcher. That's the insanity mug combo in the glaze kiln. Not quite as blue, a little more gray. So usually the hottest spot on the kiln is like right back here. I feel like I always have glaze dripping, which these have a little bit. Shoot, I thought it would work, but definitely, definitely dripped a little bit. And this one didn't. So that's nice. That glaze is bomb. Holy cow, that's sweet. That is a cool, that is cool. I'll have to get some better pictures of that. But here's some oil bottles in the carbon trap, Shino. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, here's the insanity. Wow, that's cool. I don't know if you can see anything. Hopefully we get some good pictures in there. All right, there we go. Well, that was fun and exciting. All right, you guys gotta tell me in the comments, what did you prefer? Electric, colorful, bright, you know, but maybe a little more, I don't know how you would describe it. This is a little more like rustic and raw and it's not not the same look at all, I would say. But it's also because we're using different glazes in here. So I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Electric versus gas, what do you like better? Do you like them both? I like them both, so we'll keep doing both. Um, then we're adding a new kiln in April, soda kiln. So that's gonna be exciting and fun. All right. Well, all the stuff is going up for sale March 3rd, as well as t-shirts and hats, and it's probably gonna be the biggest restock we have ever had. So check it out. Um, thank you guys all so much for the support, and we'll see you guys in the next video.